welcome back to another video here in this video we are going to learn how to import excel sheet data into simulink to do your analysis here i'm going to show you three ways to import excel data into simulink model so without wasting time let's get started so in first method we'll go to library in library here we are going to use this one day lookup table let's add so in the first method we are going to use this block 1d lookup table this method is useful when you have already imported excel sheet to matlab for any programming purposes or any calculation purposes so in this case you already have some data in workspace which you have going to use it is the data of the excel sheet which you are going to import let me show you the excel sheet this is the data of excel sheet these are the different data of some weather station like wind speed temperature humidity and solar irradiation by the way it is manually written data okay it is not an actual data but it is just for an understanding purpose so this is the excel sheet which has been already imported into the matlab so this first method is useful when you already have imported some data into workspace for example in your case if you want to use excel sheet for programming as well as simulation but you don't know how to import excel into matlab then i request you to first refer the previous video which i have made on how to import excel data to matlab in this video we are going to learn how to import that excel sheet directly into simulink or through this workspace so first way is useful when you are using this data in both programming as well as in your simulation so here we have our data for example we are going to open this wind speed so you can see the data of wind speed over here now let's go to our simulation so in this block we are going to use the data which is already available with us in the workspace now the input to this block is clock so let us take a clock so we have taken simulink sources and in that source is a clock let's connect it over here now let's open the block so in this block what we supposed to do we'll supposed to keep this data specification as table and breakpoint then table data here we need to specify the data which we want to import over here for example here we have speed temperature solar irradiance and humidity data so out of this data let's say we are going to implement uh, one of them uh, let's say temperature and mention the table data over here and in this breakpoint one we are going to mention the starting and ending point or starting and ending cell value of the uh, this data set let's say open over here we want to cover this entire data set so it will start with 1 and it goes up to 48 so here we have 1 to 48 values so we are going to write 1 gem 48 okay done and then we are going to observe this into our scope so let's connect a scope over here let's run and here you can see this is our imported data so this is the first method how you can import the data into your simulink if it's useful then do not forget to hit the like or if you enjoy this then do not forget to subscribe to this channel with this now we are going to move towards this second method so let's remove this in our second method we are going to use the signal builder block so let's go to library again so this is the signal builder block let's add so here we have signal builder block now let's open it basically the purpose of this block is to build a signal right whatever type of signal you want to generate you can build it using this block right but what we are going to do we are going to import from file right we are going to import a file using the data of that file we are going to create a signal right so we are going to import a file from here this is our data set let's open it so here you can see it's a sheet one and if we open this sheet one we have this four data set this four data set you can even see in our excel sheet right wind speed temperature humidity and solar irradiance 
the first column time is not available over here because it will understand that the first column is of time so it will not import that data over here let's say we want to import all of them so we'll select all of them we'll replace existing data set right confirm selection and now apply no import without saving and here you can see we have imported all four signals over here you can see all these four signals now let's close it so here you can see the name of all the four signals now we'll add scope so we have connected scope with it and now let's run so here you can see we have imported all of the data now i'll tell you one more thing just close it and open the signal builder here we have four signals right now if you want to modify this data you can even modify it the way you want for that what you supposed to do from here you supposed to select any of the signal let's say we want to change the signal number two wind speed we want to make some changes in wind speed and i am modifying this equation so in order to modify the equation you are supposed to move your cursor over this data point and just drag the data point wherever you want to drag and if you don't want to drag it right what you can do you just select that data point now that point is selected and from here you can set that magnitude exactly the way you want let's say instead of this 11 i want to make it 18.5 so the change has already been done let's say i want to make one more change over here the magnitude is 17 so instead of this 17 i want to make it 3 right so i have made these two changes in wind speed so now let's close this thing and run it again and you can see over here whatever change we have made in wind speed so that's how you can play with the signal builder you can import the signal directly from the data or you can play with the signal you can create the signal the way you want and there are so many things over here right but right now i'm not going into that much of deep so i'm closing it right now and now we are going to approach towards the third method but before moving to third method i would like to request you to hit the like button or to subscribe to this channel or at least give your genuine feedback to this video because your response means a lot to me and that motivates me to keep making these type of videos okay so now let's move towards the third section for that again we'll go to the library and over here we'll go for from sheet sorry it's not from sheet go from spreadsheet from spreadsheet block let's import it so this is the block we have from spreadsheet let's open the block so when you open the block you will find these type of parameters over here first you supposed to enter the file location so let's open the file location and select the file so this is our file so here we have imported the file then sheet name and range we'll discuss it about little later then the next is output data type so the output of this block will be available in this much of varieties of data type right so if you want the output in double single integer eight right so these are the different data type whatever data type you want to set to get in output you can select it by default you will keep it as auto treat first column as time or you can treat first column as data let me show you our data sheet this is our data sheet and in that the first column is of time so what we'll do we'll treat this first column as time so we'll keep this as it is sample time zero this sample time is really important for this block because the sample time refers to the rate at which the block reads the data from the spreadsheet and update its output into the signals it determines how often the block retrieves the data from the spreadsheet and provides updated value to the rest of the model or to the block to which it is connected. 
so it is important because it affects the synchronization of the block with other blocks in the model so what we'll do right now we'll keep it zero as it is so let's say okay so when we say okay all the data is imported now i'm going to import the scope okay so everything is ready and now let's run and there we go here we have imported all the four data now let me close this thing open it again now let me tell you what we can do through this through this we can select a specific range of data for example if i don't want to import entire excel sheet but i want to import only selected range of the data that selection i can do it from here uh, uh, the name of our sheet is data now select the data range let's say we want to import this much of data right so only this much of data we are going to import and it is not necessary that you only import from the beginning you can even import from anywhere into this excel sheet right so we have imported the data selected the data so let's close it so the data range has been already selected let's say ok and run now you can see the graph for only that much of selected data range so that's how you can import excel data into simulink for all the analysis purposes if you have enjoyed this video if you have found this video useful do not forget to hit the like button or to subscribe to this channel or at least give me your one feedback about this channel for more similar videos on matlab you can refer these two playlists right so let's meet into that videos